The increase in burnout, uh, anxiety, depression, loneliness, uh, autoimmune diseases uh, in, in youngsters, 20 year old, 30 year old, it has increased three to four X in the last 20 years. About 300 to 400%. This is massive. Why is this the case? Many causes. One is social media, Instagram, right? You externalize and you compare too much, which is a disaster. Second reason is the yeah, performance culture, increased performance culture we have in society, uh, more pressure. Uh, third, it's about uh, a more academic life, less learning by doing, less risk taking, feedback loops. More abstract. Yeah, yeah less skin in the game. So you don't know who you are if you live in your head. And that's a problem. Then, then you com get confused. You get these burnouts. And also, finally, you have the paradox of choice. The, the, the youngsters live in a, in a pre presumed or assumed world of abundance. And the parents stimulate that, that mindset. Oh, you can, do become, you, you can become anything. You, you can become successful. The endless choice. Yeah, the endless choice. The paradox of, of choice, of yeah, abundance. The skills. So they have no way to navigate th these choices and to filter it. Yeah. So it all boils down boils down to solve it to self-awareness, to spirituality, to identity, to self-knowledge, right? So to go inside introspection and go less outside, less Instagram, less social media, less confusion, less in staying in your head, stay more in your heart, in your soul, in your body, that means go inside, detox, go offline, go analog, go quantum, go to nature, Walk without your smartphone for a week around a river, that helps. Yeah. The faster the, the world changes, the more you need to internalize as, as an anchor, as a stability point, as a counterbalancing point. So what we have done in the last 20, 20 years, or 40 years basically, we have intensified the inter external while ignoring or downgrading the internal. That creates all these crises, yeah. or crisis, I have to say. What are the good things of Europe if we look at this landscape that you the, the, the good things that if you look at US and, and China, uh, they are embracing the, these visions, but we are able to do it faster if we are uh, aware about it and uh, believe in it and collaborate and implement this at scale in Europe. Then we, have able to, we are able to leapfrog. So to improve the educational system relative to the US and China in a, in a more systemic, holistic and future-proof way, I think that's possible. I see schools that offer a one-week man mandatory walk in nature every year for all students. That's the future. Yeah. Because then you have the right balance between outside and inside, external and internal. Can you, you said basically, uh, if I'm correct, China and, and China and USA want to go this direction? Yeah. But Europe can do this. My sense would be that if you look at the big picture, uh, Europe is, is more balanced in, 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 in a lot of domains relative to China and the US. China is focusing on balance, but it's growing so fast. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a very yeah, strong, big challenge for them, right? Even though they try to, to balance, to rebalance every time. And if you look at the US, yeah, the, the system is basically gone rogue. Uh, the capitalistic system is way too atomized, individualistic. Uh, there's a lack of social cohesion and investment into the core things. Healthcare, education, spirituality. Yeah. They focus too much on, on the outside and uh, conflicts outside of the US. So they are out of balance in, in many, many ways. So Europe is less balanced. It's less focusing on military conflicts or conflicts externally. In my perception, that is, uh, there's more social cohesion. There seems to be more ecological awareness relative to the US. I think about the, the climate uh, measures by Trump. Um, so from that perspective, it's easier to make this move to, to go inside because holistic thinking and doing is external, but the external is, is a reflection of the internal state, the mindset. Yeah. So the, the I would say that the ingredients, the components of going deeper inside to rebalance Europe, Europeans, 
is stronger here relative to US. I didn't mention this before, the strength of Europe is also the, the cultural background. The, uh, the museums, the history, yeah, the hist yeah, art and history. It's a big advancement because that becomes very important into the future. Uh, the, 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 the faster the future uh, is changing, or the present, the more you have to go back into the past to, make, to look for patterns, to look for ethical decision making, to, to ground your, your life and your, your, your nation state. So the values, the, the, the expression, the, the patterns embodied into, in, in art and history and culture becomes fundamental. So that's also a, a leverage point for Europe that we are now ignoring too much, in my view. So you say a very uh, positive stuff now, we come there after our analysis, mm -hmm. which is that, uh, okay, USA, China tries to do this, they know this, they have also mm -hmm. a sort of awareness, but they lack some key the assets like cohesion and balance. And uh, Europe is more balanced than China. China is fast growing too fast, so it's unbalanced growing. And the USA is even worse because they lack total cohesion, too many contradictions, and, and also the end of capitalism. Yeah, so there is, but if we focus on Europe, you say, there is a very strong uh, possibility to use this balance in social cohesion to use this ecological awareness and to, above all, to use the background of our history, of our roots, of our art and philosophy mm -hmm. and culture, to look for patterns that gave us a strong uh, guidance for the future yeah. or new innovations yeah. for the future, yeah. going back to the past. What is your uh, best dream when you uh, wake up about five years from now in Europe? Well, I, my, my dream would be that um, we apply the, the things we discussed. The most important challenge is to change the mindset, the culture, the values a little bit. That means we have a lot of, uh, let's say, we have a demographic issue. Uh, the elderly, elderly mostly are more conservative, but they have more wisdom. So how can we, do, can we apply more reverse mentoring? Young people educating all the people in Europe at scale, while we see older people and we respect them for their wisdom and a broad experience and to apply that to younger people, right? In all educational or societal systems. Okay. So if we can fix that... I think that's a very clear dream. Yeah, then we have also a, a shift in culture. And we have the skills. And more shift. social cohesion. Yeah. And we are in a good place. Okay, well, thank you very much for this uh, beautiful uh, foresight.